Welcome to Toy Poloi. Parental guidance. This video contains scenes of Lego destruction. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. And today we're going to be looking at repairing this vintage Popey DX Thunderbird 2. Now this is not the normal sort of toys that I would uh, collect. Although I do collect some uh, Popey products, they make the Gatchaman Battle of the Planets vehicles and also the Terrorhawks uh, vehicles and toys that uh, were released here by uh, Bandai Popey in the uh, UK. Uh, now this is a pretty cool toy as I say. It's a Japanese version of Thunderbird 2 made out of die cast metal and plastic. So the main uh, sort of part of the ship is made out of die cast metal and it's got quite a good weight to it. The little removable pod you can see here is mainly made out of plastic but with uh, metal wheels. And this uh, thing as you can see actually does display quite nicely but there's a few areas on it that are broken that I would like to repair so that it could be displayed fully. The first one is there's a little rocket launcher in the front here. You're supposed to be able to press this button on the side. This rocket launcher will pop up and then sort of clip in place about here so you can fire missiles out of it. At the moment I've removed the spring from it. I do have that in a little bag to one side but the little clips that are supposed to hold this in place have snapped off so uh, when it pops up it actually just fires out completely uh, which is why the spring is no longer in it at the moment. So we're going to fix that and if we turn the vehicle over you'll see there are four little legs that are supposed to sort of pull down. I can pull down three of them and one of them has the end of it missing. I actually need to get a pair of tweezers to uh, pop that one out. So if I just do that. So you can see there's supposed to be four uh, sort of extendable legs with little feet on the end and this this one has snapped which means that when we uh, sort of try and stand this up the vehicle tips backwards and doesn't stand up properly so you can't uh, release the pod in the middle and drop that down. I think I'm going to end up making something from scratch possibly just the end part of that but uh, we'll see when we get this ship apart. First thing though I think we should do is uh, repair the missile launcher. I think that's going to be the easiest part of that. We can use some styrene or some other bit of plastic to remake the clips and then we'll see if we can get that working first. Okay so here we have the little missile launcher and what's happened is the two clips that are supposed to be on the end of these bits of plastic have snapped off. I do have one of the uh, broken off bits of clip. You can see here it's a very tiny piece and this should fit just about on there. It, it's just snapped off. I can see why this would happen. It is an incredibly small piece of plastic. I think it might be worth trying to reattach this piece uh, with some plastic weld. This is the right sort of plastic for plastic weld. Plastic weld uh, really does work particularly well with this sort of harder uh, styrene type plastic. So initially I will try and stick this one on. If that works I then need to make a replacement uh, clip for the other side because I don't have that one. So I have here, this is just a piece of two millimeter thick styrene board. It comes off a sort of an A4 sheet. And I think we should be able to make something that matches this missing clip out of that. But the first thing I want to do is just to check to see if this will actually glue in place with a bit of plastic weld. I say that, I've just pinged it off to one side. Let me go and find that. If I can't, I've got to make this all from scratch. Right, I'm back again. I found it. It was uh, just on the floor next to a stormtrooper. So uh, that was lucky. Sometimes I've uh, lost very key pieces like that, just uh, firing off into the void of my room. So what I'm going to do is just going to get some plastic weld and glue this one back in place. And we'll see if that is a strong enough bond. I'm hoping it will be. And then if that does work, I can use this as a guide to make the one on the other side. But uh, yeah, let's get this one plastic welded in place and we'll see if it works. So there you can see that piece is now uh, stuck back in place. It's best to leave this for about an hour uh, with plastic weld. What it does is it sort of fuses the two surfaces back together. So you have to wait for everything to evaporate before the bond is sort of fully set. In the meantime, I'm gonna try and recreate this tiny piece out of a little bit of styrene. Uh, as I said, I've got some two millimeter styrene here. I'm just gonna cut something until I've got it about the same shape. And again, I will uh, plastic weld that in place. And then we'll let everything dry and we'll see if this works. Uh, there is hope that it will uh, but sometimes these things are so small it may just snap off again uh, but um, you know, let's give it a try.
OK, so this is what I've made. You can see it is my sort of recreation of that little clip. It's a very small piece, so it's a little bit on the sort of fiddly side to work on. And it is only glued in a very small area. So the plastic world I'm hoping is strong enough to hold that to give it a better chance of working. I've actually tapered down the edges. You can see here uh, that that would have been a square edge and you can see I've tapered them in and thin them back as much as I can, because in actual fact, this clip only has to be squeezed once to get it into the uh, toy and then after that it is never squeezed together again. So I'm hoping this is just going to be strong enough to hold it for that one squeeze as we push it in uh, and then I'm not going to touch it anymore. It, all of this stuff is hidden inside so you won't see the fact that this is made out of white styrene. But uh, yeah, really this is just a sort of a risky stage I've got to go through now is to put this back inside the Thunderbird 2 and just see if it works. So this is the spring that goes in a little hole in the inside of Thunderbird 2's cockpit area. And then we put the gun around so that the missile launchers are firing forwards. And that goes over there. And then uh, it's just got to be pushed in once. Now, I guess when this plastic was first sort of made and this toy was the first made, which is back sort of in 1979 to 1985, the plastic would have had a bit of spring to it. Now, as it's, you know, 40 years old, uh, it's plastic tends to dry out a bit and get a bit brittle, which is why these things break. So I'm just going to go for it and we'll see what happens. If it breaks, I'll have to uh, think of another way of fixing it. But let's just try this. So I'm going to push this down quite gently. Ooh, I don't know, I'm sort of being a bit, possibly a bit too cautious. And there we go. Oh no, and I've broken the clip completely this time. I can actually see the front part of the clip has broken off. Uh, so the back part has worked, but the front part has completely broken. I had a feeling something like that would happen. So uh, it's in and it is working, but uh, it's not going to last forever. So I possibly should take this out and do it again. I think for the moment I will leave it because it does actually now stay in place. And I think we can sh shut that down. Oh no, it's not going to work. So uh, yeah, let's go back to the drawing board. I'll take this all out and I'll see if I can think of a better way of fixing that. That's a bit disappointing, but uh, I had a feeling that might happen just because this is such old plastic. So I've jumped ahead a little bit now, uh, and this is actually one of those lessons in I probably should have taken the toy all apart before I started trying to fix that. Because it turns out if I'd taken this apart, you can see I can take this section of the front part of Thunderbird 2 out. I can actually clip this thing in and fix it while it's in place so I wouldn't have to uh, squeeze those two bits of plastic together. So as you can see, uh, that's what I'm going to do now. The bit of plastic that I made uh, did snap off the end, so I've made it again. I'm going to glue this one back in place. We'll let everything dry. and now. I I can put the toy back together without actually having to force those two bits of plastic together and hopefully that will work. So uh, I probably should have done this first. Sometimes you learn when you're fixing a toy for the first time uh, there are different ways that you can go about it and in this instance I should have taken the front of this Thunderbird 2 apart. But you live and learn nothing has been irreparably damaged. I can get this all back and working and hopefully this time it will actually work. OK, so I think uh, second time's a charm on this. As you can see, I've reattached the bit of plastic that broke off. And uh, I think now, without having to push it through that small hole and bending it, it's going to work uh, pretty well. Uh, so we can do a quick test. You can see I've got the spring back in place and uh, we can then just drop this over the top. There is one screw that needs to go in just to hold this uh, front portion in place. So I'm going to drop that in just to make sure everything is held together. And then we can uh, lock the mechanism and see if it actually works and fires up. Hopefully this will have done it. And uh, as I say, sometimes you learn as you're going on doing projects. And I wish I'd taken the ship apart fully before I'd started this. But uh, that's something I now know for next time. So as you can see, this is the mechanism. We can push this down. There's a catch that goes in on the side and that now does lock in place. So if I press that little button, he fires out. Oh, he fires out too far. 
it's broken both of the tabs off see still not working perfectly one of those things let's try that again i'm going to see if i can find something better to glue those pieces with because obviously it's just too weak and that spring may be a bit too strong we're getting somewhere this is what i like about fixing toys like this you can sort of try things sometimes things work sometimes things don't work you just have to sort of work your way through all of the sort of the errors that you find as you try and fix it and at some point you'll find a perfect solution P -O -Y -P -O -L -L -O -Y. that is incorrect try again right we are back here again this is the third time we'll have a go at this so i've now re-glued the two little bits on the bottom there i think uh, that's as good as those are going to get there's no sort of way of actually adding any more sort of reinforcing sort of pieces around it just because of the way this is constructed the spring has to go it down the middle there and then there's also this uh, peg here that also has to fit down the middle so there's not a lot of space to actually add any more sort of reinforcing pieces to that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the strength in this spring I think this spring is really sort of quite strong I've done this before on some other toys where they've got strong springs just reduce the um, amount of push that this thing has uh, the uh, launching mechanism will still rise up but it won't rise up so forcefully so to do that what I need to do is measure how long this spring is so that's why it's useful to have a cutting mat you can exactly work out so this is about two and a half centimeters and what I'm going to do is actually stretch this spring so I'm going to pull it slightly and we'll give this a bit of a stretch and we only want to do this a little bit I want to try and get it to about four centimeters I reckon so that's now about uh, three and a half centimeters so we just do this a little bit more and then we're going to cut this down that reduces the amount of coils in the spring uh, and should make it a bit of a weaker spring so it doesn't have so much push to it uh, and that I'm hoping will be enough that this uh, launching mechanism will work without breaking the uh, tiny pieces of plastic. If this doesn't work, I think I'll just put it back together without a spring in it at all. So it, the, everything is in place, but the launching mechanism doesn't actually fire because that is what is uh, breaking these pieces. So you can now see that that's stretched to just slightly over four centimeters. And I need to cut this back down to two and a half centimeters, which is about there. So I've just got some wire cutters and I'll cut that spring like so. So now we have a spring that is the same length as the original one, but it has a lot less sort of push to it. I think that might do it. If it doesn't, as I say, uh, this is the sort of last option, but that's got a lot less push to it. It's a lot less forceful. Let's try this one final time and hope that this works. Yeah, that feels, that feels a bit of a weaker spring. So I can now lock this in place. It does lock in place. I'm going to hold, hold this together rather than screwing it together again and we'll try this we'll see if this fires off oh yeah that's not too bad actually it actually caught my finger there yeah I think that will do one final quick test of this launcher before I go on to the leg I've uh, just put this back together just uh, with a couple of screws so it's uh, held together not completely so you can see now we can raise up the front section of uh, Thunderbird 2 uh, you can see where the launcher is locked in place if we shut that down and shut the lid if I now press the button on the side you can see that the launcher does lift up it's held in place it's not broken anything it does have enough force to actually open the hatch there so it is working which is what I wanted uh, and we can now lock it in place again and it does uh, stay there so I think that is a pretty good fix there uh, it took me three goes to get to it as you saw sometimes these things especially when you're working on a, a toy that you've never worked on before it does take a little bit of a while to actually work out what you're going to do and how it's going to work but uh, I got there in the end so you can see that is now working quite nicely and as, as I say uh, yeah just trial and error it's always uh, worth having a go at these things uh, if a toy is already broken you're not going to harm it anymore by trying to fix it uh, this is certainly what's happened here it was already broken and it didn't work I've now after a few goes got it working again so uh, let's move on to uh, the broken leg while I had Thunderbird 2 apart I took out two of the legs this is what one of the legs should look like so you can see it's a sort of long thin pole with a little foot attached at one end and this is what the broken leg looks like so we can see exactly which part is missing which is just this sort of end piece with the foot on it and I think I can make something quite easily 
using some bits of Lego. I always show these Lego whip antennas as very useful parts to have in a toolbox and I happen to have a couple of uh, red versions. I've actually cut the end off this for use of something else and you can see that this although it's not a perfect colour match it's pretty good and it's about the same diameter as the missing piece of the foot there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to make a new sort of missing section there and I'm going to use another piece of Lego and I'm going to fashion the uh, foot out of that. It's about the same sort of size you can see straight away so if I cut that end piece off and sort of shape it I can make something that does actually look like a foot quite easily and then it will be a case of gluing it together but as this is such tiny pieces uh, the way I will glue it is I'm going to be drilling very small holes into the ends of these pieces and inserting a piece of paper clip just a small amount just to give it some strength. I'll also drill a hole into this and we can insert that in and glue it in place. You'll have seen me do this quite a lot in other fixes with small pieces like this you need to reinforce the joins you can't just glue them it will because uh, it will just snap off there's not enough surface area for the glue to work on uh, so uh, yeah I'm just going to get cutting and I'll make something out of these two pieces of Lego and uh, hopefully it will look pretty close to that original foot It's only taken about five minutes and I've managed to make a pretty passable representation of uh, the missing foot as you can see. So that's just two pieces of Lego stuck together with a bit of paper clip uh, drilled into some holes just to give it some extra strength. And yeah, it does look like it does the job quite nicely. So now what I've got to do is exactly the same process again to attach it to uh, the broken leg. So I'm going to cut off the piece that I've made about one centimetre down. I'm going to drill a hole into the uh, original sort of peg that's broken off. And then I'll also drill a hole into the new bit that I've made and I again will be attaching that with a paper clip. I'm using Gorilla Glue or Super Glue to uh, glue this because there's obviously metal involved. If I was just using bits of plastic, uh, then I often just use plastic weld, but plastic weld only works with certain types of plastic and this sort of flexible plastic of this leg, I don't think it will stick with. So uh, it's uh, super glue today, but as you can see, that's not looking too bad at all. And I've now put it back together with the new leg in place. So if we look at the bottom, you can see there are four legs. It's actually hard to spot which one is the repaired one. It's this one here. So that folds back down. 
got all the other little legs to fold out of the way. And now when we uh, drop this down, I'll show, do it with the uh, new leg facing forwards. You can see it's this one here. It doesn't look too bad at all. It's a pretty hard to spot that that has been made out of a couple of pieces of Lego. And if we uh, drop this Thunderbird 2 down, you can see it now stands upright, which is what it wouldn't do previously. And then we can drop down uh, the compartment in the middle. So it uh, all works quite nicely. It's a pretty straightforward thing to do. I find Lego a very useful uh, sort of tool to have when fixing toys, just because it comes in all sorts of colors and uh, you can make stuff pretty easily out of it. It's very easy to work with. On something this small, you do need to pin it, uh, as I showed you with a paperclip or something, just to add that extra bit of support. If it's on larger pieces, you can just glue it, but uh, something this small needed that extra piece of support. And that's it for this video. All of the repairs are done and I can now put this fully on display. The little missile launcher works really nicely as you see. It pops up and it stays in place and it also locks down. And as I just showed you, the legs work. So uh, it is a nice displayable piece again. I'm still missing the uh, Thunderbird 4 that should sit in the compartment inside here. And I obviously don't have the missiles, but uh, this is an old toy. It's pretty rare. So finding those things could take quite a while and I may never find them. So, you know, it just doesn't matter. This thing is now displayable. I need to say a massive thank you to Dave Hogg from the YouTube channel Robots Retro Spaces because uh, he very kindly traded this with me. He needed some pieces for a Gatchman vehicle which I just happened to have so uh, we swapped and uh, this is what he gave me in return. It's a, a lovely vehicle and it's going to go on display with my other Popey Gatchman vehicles because I think it sort of sits quite well with them and along with my Space 1999 dinky die cast as well. It should look quite nice next to those. So I hope this video has been of interest to you. If it has then make sure to hit the subscribe button and then tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.